Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing an organizational video. I like to watch these, so I thought maybe I would try filming one. I'm going to organize this closet right here. I keep my art supplies and my clothes in there, so it's definitely dual purpose. I think it could be a little more efficient, a little more organized, and also a little more aesthetically pleasing. I'll make sure to link everything that I purchased in the description box, and if you're curious to see how it turned out, just keep on watching. Okay, so here's my closet. It has mirror doors, which I am not a fan of, but on the right hand side is mostly my clothes. I have half of it with clothes that are hung up. On the bottom, I have a plastic drawer thing with some art supplies, my hamper, and a com computer monitor box. And then on top, I have more containers with art supplies and on the very top, some important documents. On the left hand side I have some more clothes but it's mostly my art supplies on this side. I have a bunch of stuff at the top for storage, my duvet, a bag of fabric and then some more containers and then I have my sewing machine and then this dresser which is half clothes and then half art supplies and then the tall one beside it which is all art supplies. Both are from Muji. So the first thing I wanted to tackle was this plastic drawer container. I thought maybe I could upcycle it by painting it and putting on some cute handles. So to do that, I brought it to my parents because I don't have anywhere to spray paint in my condo. Um, first, I sanded it down and I got that tip from a blog and maybe I used the wrong sandpaper because I just ended up leaving a whole bunch of scratches that you could definitely see through the spray paint. And honestly, I don't think it made a difference anyways because the spray paint just scratches off when you put the drawers back into the, the shelving unit. And it also felt really gross because I used a matte spray paint so it kind of felt like you were touching cardboard so I got rid of it and I bought these singular kind of containers instead um, you can find them at Michael's I bought them on Amazon I thought it would be a good idea because then I could separate different things into different sections so I created one container for my stickers and vinyl another container for my pads of paper Another one for artwork that I've done and lino cut stuff that I'm doing, sandpaper. I basically just kind of separated it out how I use it and what made sense to me. In this last drawer, it's more sentimental kind of memory stuff, so I put that into its own container as well. And even though they're see-through, um, I still wanted to label them so I'd know what is in each of them. So I used my Dymo label printer, which is so much fun. <laughs> you can just put in all the letters and then it punches it out from the sticker paper. So it's really easy and pretty inexpensive. And I don't know, it gives it kind of a cool look too. So now that I have that space open and empty, I'm gonna put my sewing machine there. It was a little heavy for on top of the dresser anyway, and now it's just easier to grab. And then on top of the dresser, I'm gonna put those boxes because this is where I keep my art supplies anyways on this side of the closet, so now it's all together. I also bought this magazine holder from Amazon. It's pretty cute. It has like a rose gold mirror in the back and I'm just going to use it for sheet music that I have and I used to have that stacked on a shelf um, which was kind of annoying because anytime you wanted to get something you kind of just had to like take it all out pick what you want and then put it back but in the magazine holder it's all standing up straight so it's easier to pick out what I need and with the extra space in between the magazine holder and those boxes I'm able to slide in some oversized items like my screen printer and my cutting board and a large pad of paper. I also have this organizer from Amazon. It's acrylic and it just kind of hangs on those wire bars in the closet that everybody has. It's more shallow than I expected but it still works. I use it to hold all my rolls of vinyl, my hard drives, and then other things that kind of fit nicely into that space. So I got these two big black and white boxes off Amazon and I wanted to use that to basically make all of the other crap that was in the top two shelves more aesthetically pleasing. 
So I'm just putting everything back. I have this big black box that I already had owned that I did the lettering for, for Adidas actually. <laughs> and then I also had these three containers that I already had and so I just put them together on the right hand side. I was trying to find a spot for my old MacBook but it didn't fit here but I found a spot later. So I wanted to put together my hamper next. It was kind of like putting a tent together. You just have these poles that you have to put in the side. It was really easy and I like it because it's a little bit smaller than the one I had. It also stands up better and it has handles and it has a little drawstring thing at the top and it just looks cuter. So I put that beside my sewing machine with my bag full of purses and now my clothes can hang down a lot lower and I can grab those other things a lot easier. So the right side is pretty much done. I think it looks so much better than the before picture. The top just looks cleaner and then the right side is just more functional and easier to get things basically. The left side is almost done. I just wanted to do one last finishing touch on my dresser. It has see-through drawers, which I don't love, so I bought this flamingo peel and stick wallpaper from Amazon. It's by Spoonflower, and I stuck it onto the fronts of all the drawers. I used an X-Acto knife to uh, finish off the ends, which probably left um, cut marks, but oh well, but just an FYI. <laughs> Otherwise, it's really easy to apply and it didn't take very long at all. And I think it made a huge difference. Um, I really enjoy even just keeping my closet doors open because then I can see the flamingo wallpaper, which makes me really happy. So I think this looks so much better than before. I like having all of the art stuff in one area and I like that at the top I have those two large boxes instead of a bunch of small ones and that the clutter is just kind of tidied up a bit and not kind of a mess on top of the dresser like it was before. And I love these stacked boxes. I think they're a huge improvement from the drawers. One last final touch is a light in my closet to help brighten it up when it's dark. I just use a switch from Ikea and my husband installed it for me. So it just makes it easier to find things when it's kind of dark in there. So I'm just gonna sit beside my flamingo wallpaper because it's just so cute. That was my closet upgrade. I hope you enjoyed it. I have to kind of do a clothes slash art closet because um, I don't like anything out in the open. So I like to have everything tucked away and this is the best way for me to do it. Um, I don't have a ton of clothes so it kind of works out for me but I'm really happy with how it looks because sometimes I forget to close this door and I do a lot of my work from home in the desk across so when I do Zoom meetings this is a much better background and it's just cuter to look at if I do leave the door open um, and it just makes me happy when I open it and go look for art supplies because I really love the flamingos and I love how everything is so organized and easy to find things so I think this is a huge upgrade it was kind of a journey the shipping for everything took super long um, it just took maybe like two months to finish um, things didn't exactly turn out how I want or how I wanted initially but I think they turned out better than how I wanted initially so I'm really happy with how it turned out and I don't really feel like I spent a ton of money to do the upgrades either which is really nice so if you have any tips on how I can organize anything a little bit better if you notice something that you think you have a really great idea for please leave it in the comments below because I'd love to hear it